some tea and scones later on and all the rest of it. It was it was it was a wicked day, wasn't it? It certainly was, but it didn't end there, Tom. It didn't end there because no, after we went back and had uh, nice little scones, as they were, um, it was the day was finished off with Cuna Music doing an event mm. for everyone, which was really cool. Obviously, we we've seen them before, but this time we managed to get we were quite we lucked out in the seats because quite a few people had already gone in by the time we went there. But yeah, there were two yeah. seats right at the front, so we were like, right, we're we're nabbing those definitely. Um, so we were right, you know, in front of the performance, and we did a little bit of periscoping for some of the songs which mm. is good but you obviously you can feel the vibe when you're really close it, it was great and uh everyone seemed to like obviously get get on board and i think at the start you know you go to certain gigs or certain things you get some people that get into it straight away and you get the others that take a bit of time you know and there were one or two people that you thought oh well that they they would be either not the sort of person that would get into it but mm. yet you suddenly see their foot tapping on the floor. You see their yeah. hands and their fingers going and the energy that cue the music was blasting out just G'd up everyone. And it was really cool to see. I really enjoyed It was that. great, man. It really was. And it's, you, there's, there's a lot of, with anybody who's like a hardcore fan of something, there's that risk of them being a little bit skeptical about, about a band playing Bond songs of like, well, it won't be as good as the originals and all that kind of stuff. But, you saw anybody who perhaps had that little ounce of skepticism in at the beginning, by the end, that was just blasted out of everywhere. Everyone was like on their feet, loving it. I remember looking around and seeing old Gavin a few seats down and he's yeah, like, no, but it does better. Like singing along <laughs> the full yeah. of his lungs and all that. And it was, it was just lovely. Like I, I yeah. turned around and I saw him lost in the moment. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I saw him like yeah, yeah, eyes yeah. closed, like just singing along to nobody does yeah. it better. I was like, what a beautiful moment. Yeah. Um, and, well, there, are, uh, there are a and, couple of songs as well where Kerry and David, a guitar player, come off the stage in front of everyone and like yeah. just giving it their all. And it, you, it, you know, you can't take your eyes off them when they're doing that sort of performance and just rocking the room. It's so yeah, cool. absolutely. And it's that there's, there's some, and I said it again to Warren, there's something about their performance that makes me feel emotional and a little bit tearful. And I don't know yeah. why, I don't know why it does it to me, but it does that nobody does it better. There's like a set piece moment where um at the towards the end of the song the like the brass section walk out to the front of the stage it's the oh, bit cool. like at the end of the song where it's like you know, where the horns go like bup, 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 yeah. they are this, that bit yeah. and it's just something so magnificent about that moment that it just yeah. fills me with chills and i just i don't know my eyes kind of well up a little bit and i'm not ashamed to say it as a very masculine man i just i don't know it's it's it gets me well, I had a similar thing, but mine was on writings on the wall. Like when when Kerry was singing that, it was so good. And like I, you know, it's had a lot of hate that song, and a lot of people say it should be sung by a woman. And she really, you know, really knocks it out it. of the park. And made, yeah. yeah, completely. And that sort of yeah, I definitely felt my eyes piercing over a little bit. It's just yeah, more emotion, I, isn't it? Other highlights of that, their version of another way to die is incredible. It, electric. And, do you know so, it, it, what surprises me about that song is a lot of the hardcore fans I see on Facebook like hate that song. A lot of the real old school proper hardcore bomb fans are like, "That's a sad excuse for a song." Blah 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 blah. Never got that. I I love the original. I think yeah, it's a I great did. song. Yeah, I did. can see where it goes. It might go a little bit too far for some people's tastes, but for me, I love it. I think it's great. But that song for me is a highlight of their set because it's just it just rocks man and it's it's incredible there's it, just you can't deny the energy in the room when they play that tune um and the other thing which i think is great because i really feel and i know you do as well and everybody else who's seen through the music probably like that band are destined for great things like they're destined to be playing at you know bond premieres and at barbara's birthday party and stuff like that i just know that's in their future because they're so good at what they do um and there was a moment where they got peter up for the like the final song and he was sitting that there and like Ker kerry's singing to him and it was like a celebration of his whole career and he's sitting yeah. there up on stage and cue the music are playing to him and it was and like it was nobody does it better as well it, it was nobody does it better that was it and it was yeah. just like how perfect is that like to yeah. celebrate and it's like you've got a legend in the bond world who's having his essentially his lifetime achievement sort of ceremony in front of all the yeah. hardcore bomb fans and cue the music of the ones that are providing the soundtrack of that and i thought that day they took a step up towards the big leagues and they're gonna get there man i just feel it in my waters 
and it, it was beautiful as well because you could tell Peter Lamont was getting quite emotional about it and quite yeah. overwhelmed, but in a, obviously yeah. in a really nice way. And and like I think that's when it hit home because when he was doing the Q and A, you know, everyone's silent and you're listening and you do the odd clap and everything like that. But mm. when when you're you know you're being sung to and then you turn and face a room and everyone stands up and cheers you, I think that's when he suddenly you know it hit him, but yeah. obviously in a really really cool way, which is great. Um, what a yeah. day though! What a day! Super. Yeah, it was it was a, a musical erogenous climax, Chris. That's how yeah. I would describe Definitely. that. There's no better way to to like end the day at Pinewood than with that that little concert. Obviously, it was a a shorter concert because they only play for an hour. They usually play for longer, so I had to skip a few tunes and all the rest of it. Yeah. Um, but like, it was like a greatest hits of Bond, yeah. which was just blew us all away, didn't it? But yeah, I mean, yeah, for me, go. I think that was obviously one of the highlights. I think doing the the little Pinewood tour on Periscope was definitely one of the highlights mm. and then catching up with everyone as well. So I again definitely recommend if anyone who's listening has never been to Pinewood. The trouble is.